I'm John Smith, and uh, or I guess welcome back to What's the Call. Uh, it's been a good off season, but I'm John Smith. And I'm Jason Speedy. Um, did you have a good summer there, Mr. Speedy? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Came and went. <laughs> yeah. well, it's good to be back. Good it to be is back, good to be back. Talk yep. some sports. Yep, absolutely. Um, so we'll jump right into the thick of things. I mean, uh, I'm not 100% sure where we finished off the last season, but. Uh, for those of you living under a rock, I mean, the Washington Capitals ended up with Stanley Cup, and I mean, the Golden State Warriors ended up with the NBA championship. Um, we'll jump right into baseball, though, because uh, next show will be in two weeks, and I mean, baseball theoretically will should be, be over by then. By then. Yeah. I mean, other than like the off-season stuff. So, yeah. um, how did the season play out for you? I mean, I, you're looking pretty happy, I would think, uh, with the the Red Sox. I think at the yeah. beginning of the season. I predicted the Jays to be the worst in the uh, AL East. They weren't quite there. Baltimore no. beat them to it, but I mean yeah. they they were they were pretty bad. So yeah, they weren't they weren't uh, too competitive. Uh yeah, no, it was uh, it was a good good ball season. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I mean you really uh, have seen um, this past season a lot of. Uh, discrepancy with good teams and bad teams yeah. I mean, in the american league you had three teams win over 100 games and the orioles royals white Sox really bought them out and just suck um not a lot of teams right there in the middle um tampa bay um yeah you know with the new strategy of bullpenning if you will uh no real starter having you know a relief pitch start a game yeah. go five outs and then um it's a uh, you know the the purest of the game don't don't really yeah. like oh, it, but I, I was you know, gonna ask your opinion on that one. Well, opinions aside, it, it worked for them yeah. um, with a very underwhelming roster, and them moving a lot of their better talent at the beginning of the year and uh, late into the off season last last year before the season started. Um, it worked well for them to win ninety games, and if if those teams like Red Sox, Houston, New York, Oakland didn't all win, you know, 95 plus games. I mean, they really would would have been in the thick of things yeah. right up until the final weekend for for that second wild card spot. So yeah, no, it was it was uh, it was a good yeah it was a good season. I mean, uh, franchise record, you know, for for the Red Sox. Yeah. Yankees had a good year. Houston had a good, yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, I'm always gonna say nice things anyway yeah. about about uh, baseball as far as the National League. All that I was going to ask you about the Nationals, uh, Washington yeah. underwhelmed. Um, you know, it was a nice, pleasant surprise to see Colorado, um, you know, may, make it in there, win the wild card game. And Milwaukee had a nice run. It was too bad that they kind of um, lost out in the NLCS. Mm -hmm. But they have, so, a good, they have a good, strong, young core there. They made a really, obviously, a really nice trade for getting Christian Yelich, uh, mm -hmm. who should be the MVP. So, yeah, it was a lot of, lot of positives. Um, as far as the Red Sox go, I mean, this, this, the outfield they have this year, I mean, that's um, probably one of the best outfields the majors have seen and probably. Well, yeah, they're a very unique group. I mean, and I mean, young. Bat, I mean, everyone pretty uniformly agrees, you know, Mike Trout's the best player in, yeah. in baseball, but I, uh, I, I, I would argue that Mookie Betts is, I mean, uh, biased aside, I mean. I don't think Mike Trout's going to probably go play second base in the World Series, and Mookie Betts will. Yeah. You know what I mean? So his versatility and what he does with 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 the bat, and you know, oh, he's, he's, he's a young young leader uh, on that on that team. I mean, he's 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 really good. And yeah, I mean, Ben Attendi coming. I mean, he's the iron. You know, <laughs> I mean, he's just he was he was a stud, and 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 uh, he he moved right through the Red Sox. System really quick, and Jackie Bradley Jr. had three big hits in the ALCS, and yeah. I mean, all with two outs, and you know, gold gloves. Oh, and I mean, they're all the young year. too. Yeah, so. yeah, young, young and controllable. I mean, re really, the, the Red Sox. I mean, um, not to focus on them, but I mean, as far as I mean, we always hear about all the money they spend on on their roster and stuff. And yeah, they do have the highest yeah. payroll in baseball, but they also have home ground talent starting in the World Series at left field, center field, right field. Third base, yeah. well, shortstop, I mean, catcher. I mean, only second base, first base. Some and of the talent pitching. that uh, is on the payroll isn't even playing anymore. So I mean, well, that's it. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, you got about fifty million buried each year just yeah. in Hanley Ramirez and Pablo Sandoval, Sandoval and <laughs> Rusey Castillo. And yeah. So I mean, like I mean that does attribute to them having a bit oh, of yeah. highest payroll yeah. as well. Yeah. But uh, um, as far as the Jays went, I mean, it was uh, kind of a disappointment all around. I mean, their pitching didn't 
play out the way people thought their pitching was going to play out. I mean, uh, Sanchez. Um, well, their two guys can't stay healthy. Yeah, blisters. And, I mean, I seem to be blisters with both of them. And then, I mean, uh, Osuna, everything that went down with him, I mean, shipped him out. Yeah. Uh, Josh Donaldson didn't stay healthy. And then, I mean, you ended up shipping him out for nothing. peanuts on the dollar. Like, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, they screwed that whole situation up big time. Royally. Yeah. Cause, I mean, I, I, he, I mean, injuries aside, I, they, they waited too long, and then I mean, he got hurt. So yeah. I mean, well, I mean, they, I mean, they, they tried to convince themselves that they had enough talent to go for it, and they were just, they were wrong. Yeah. Now, if Stroman and, and Sanchez both made thirty starts, and Osuna's uh, issues didn't happen, I mean, yeah, I are mean, it could have been a different. Maybe, story. maybe so, but I mean, I don't think they're thirty games difference. No, and you know? and I think the thing too with the Jays is. The way their seat, like the way they projected the season, is everything really kind of had to go right for them mm. to. I mean, they didn't really have that leeway that yeah. some of these more talented teams could have. Where, well, if this doesn't pan out, at least these things here are going to pan out. Mm. They just had like pretty well everything all. Well, in the I basket, think their farm so. system's going to pan out. I think they. I yeah. mean, they have. They brought up uh, Danny Jansen and and. Um, some young Reed Foley and stuff, young pitching, and, uh, and I mean, I think Guerrero. Yeah, well, that was the other one I was going to ask you about. Do you think they should have brought him up earlier in the season? No, or? because really, what it comes—I mean, what difference would it have made, right? Yeah. I mean, it could have. I mean, really, it's going to—it would have exposed him to major league scout. I mean, major league scouting and and um, management to form a little bit of a book on him, keep him down there, and really, it all comes down to money. Keep them, keeping them down in the minors uh, gives them more control, yeah. um, at, you know, uh, for the team. And, I mean, I, I, I think his talent is there that he should be on the Major League roster, but I won't be surprised if he doesn't come up until May 3rd or 4th or whatever it yeah. is there, that cutoff date next year. Because, I mean... Yeah, an to, extra to, year of control. To, well, it's another year of control to sacrifice five, five weeks. And, I mean, yeah. frankly... The Jays aren't going to be there yet. I mean, you're looking probably another two or three years for them to really kind of open their next yeah. window. Because, I mean, the Yankees and the Red Sox really aren't going, going anywhere no. for the next couple of years at the very least. So um, that's what I think they'll stri- their strategy will, with, with him will be. Yeah, and I, I agree that I thought it was a good one. Just, I mean, there was a lot of uh, turmoil for them to call him up just because he was tearing up. The minor leagues. Well, so. I think I mean, I, realist and, and justifiably so. I think, you know, I think Jays fans are a little disappointed about how quickly the door shut. Yeah. Um, and it shut quick. Oh, you it know, was, I mean, it was it, they had two that, years, and that, and that was it. And when you look back on, to me, the the where my take on where they aired was letting Anthopolis go. I, mm. I I don't think they should have let Anthopolis go, and I honestly think they really should have re-signed David Price that year. Mm. I mean, I know he's not a postseason guy, but the bond that the, that group of guys seemed to have, and David Price really enjoyed playing in Toronto. So, I mean, yeah. I think I think that's where they aired, and I mean, they blew it on Encarnacion. I mean, Joey Bats isn't really doing anything, so I mean, that's kind of good that they blew well, yeah, on that but one, he, too. He, but. He, yeah, and, and you can't blame everything on what they changing the front office i mean batista did fall off a cliff i mean he's i mean yeah i was surprised he even got a contract last year i mean there's he he wants to play again next year well and and power to him but i mean there's dozens of younger players that are more contribute you know that that could do what he did um encarnacion yeah they they botched that talowitzki injured perpetually injured Russell Martin, I mean, falling, he's, yeah. you know, I mean, he's... And then, I mean, with the starters, not playing yeah, the I mean, it's did, some it's things just you just can't... Bad luck, but I, I, I do think their window don't. would have stayed open maybe a year or two longer had they kept Anthopolis and been able to re-sign Price, but... Well, Price, was, nev- Price was never going back there. Price is all about whoever was going to give him the most, most money. money yeah. And it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out if, in fact, the Red Sox do win the World Series. Maybe all the scrutiny that he's taken over the years... Plus, him getting a ring is enough for him to leave the remaining yeah. salary on on the table and go and sign and opt out and go sign a new deal somewhere else. Yeah, this is what I'm praying for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the guy does win you 15, 20 games in a regular season. So. Can't stand him. Yeah, can't stand him. Um, <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll get into uh, a little bit of the World Series preview. I mean, mm. uh, Dodgers, Sox. Um, I mean. 
you got to like the Sox, Sox's odds. Just uh, well, yeah. I mean, I, I LA has been. I mean, aside from everything, they've been really streaky this like the whole season throughout mm-hmm. the regular season and into the playoffs. They seem to be hot and cold. So mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, n- nobody's shocked that it's these two teams. I mean, I was surprised that the Red Sox got by the Yankees. Frankly, I yeah. thought the Yankees uh, bullpen and their lineup was just going to be kind of too much. They were going to outslug the Sox, but I was pleasantly surprised and wrong, and I was surprised at how easily, not easily, but, you know, the Red Sox dispatched of Houston, you know, I mean, yeah. winning four straight, three in a row, you know, on the road in Houston, um, and, um, you know, I mean... To me, they, they, seem they, to have they all really the well. Yeah, I mean, they've been the best team all year long, yeah. and they've 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 proven it. Now, with being doubtful that they were going to win those two previous series, I am fully 100 percent confident they're going to win this World Series, which is probably going to fall back. And, yeah. and well, back, I mean, but, you know, uh, they're going to lose in five. But um, I think the Sox have an advantage with their lineup is just relentless. They have two quality starting left-handed pitchers with Sale and Price. Um, L.A. is going to load up on right-handed hitters. Um, David Freeze, you know, Puig had a nice NLCS. Um, you know, Austin Barnes is going to be catching for them because Grandal had so much, so many issues with uh, mm-hmm. catching and stuff. And, I mean, it, it, you know, I mean, aside from Machado and, and Bellinger, who can hit lefties, I mean, um, and Turner's good. Yeah. I mean, the, they're a good team. I mean, I just don't think that they're going to be able to. Well, to, I mean, to, to, Kershaw is really their. Yeah, I think they what, don't really have the second ace behind Kershaw. No, anymore. I mean Walker Bueller is going to going to have a have a moment, and yeah. maybe that moment was already in Game Seven on the NLCS. Um, I think the only way the Dodgers win this series is if Kershaw pitches two gems and comes out of the bullpen for two games and and shuts the door. Yeah. Um, LA does have a good bullpen, but. Having said that, the Red Sox bullpen has been very good in the playoffs and shut down better offenses than what L.A. is going to be throwing yeah. out there. So, um, yeah, I mean, I like the Red Sox chance. I mean, I think if uh, they beat him in six, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've, I've... But then played. again, if L.A. beats him, I don't think, again, it's anything. I know the, the, the narrative will be, you know, this was a disappointing season for the Red Sox yeah. and yada, yada, yada. I don't agree with that. I mean, I think it's been a, uh, you know... A, a good year um i kind of said you know with who i <laughs> speak to regularly about this i was kind of thinking 2018 19 would have been when this young core would be ready to yeah. take that next step and they're they're right on track with what i was kind of expecting in my mind so um you know if if, if la beats them i mean it's good for the dodgers i mean it's good for good for baseball yeah. I, uh I, so would that does Machado end up staying if the uh, I don't LA know. Wins, I don't or? care. I no. don't. I think he's another one that. Um, you uh, know, he, Bryce Harper is another one that's kind of uh, everybody's. Yeah, I mean they're going to throw bit. money at him, but it, it, I mean I think, I think Bryce would be more inclined to stay in Washington if yeah. the money's there. Um, I think Machado is just going to go to whoever pays the most, either it's Philly or I mean it won't be LA because Corey Seager, who's yeah. an all-star, rookie of the year, and maybe MVP candidate is going to be yeah. back there, and there's no place for him. I mean, he's not Unless you want to play third again. <laughs> he's not, he's just, they just signed Justin Turner yeah. last year to a five-year deal, I think, and he's yeah. he's an all-star too. So he's not he's not staying in L.A. Mm-hmm. He was the epitome of definition rental. rental. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, with Harper, where where would you do you have any? Oh, guesses I don't know. I mean, besides he's Washington, a, I mean, uh, he's got close ties to uh, Chris Bryant, Bryan, who plays with Chicago, Chicago yeah. obviously. Um, problem is with that is they got a little bit of a crowded outfield with Schwarber, mm-hmm. Almora, and Jason Hayward, who's still on the books for a lot of money. Why not throw him with the Angels and the Mike Trout? Well, I mean, mm-hmm. you'd have to talk to him about that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, Philadelphia will have, I think, has mm-hmm. just about the most money to spend this off season. So you know, people are are kind of predicting that they'll get either both or at least one of out of Machado or Harper. Mm-hmm. But um, but we'll see. We'll but see, I mean, yeah. if Kershaw and Price both opt out of their deals, I mean, that's two quality pitchers right there. I mean, you got Craig Kimbrell and yeah. some. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. This will this will be an interesting free agent it's, it's class. 
We'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm a little. I I love the off Donaldson season too. too. I mean, yeah. it'll be interesting where he lands. Um, yeah, no, this is. Yeah. I mean, as much as I like the regular season, I love oh, the off season. Oh, stuff yeah, too, no, me so. too. Yeah, so it's it's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was there anything else you really want to touch on in baseball before we moved on to uh, some of the other ones? I mean, we got oh, uh, I'm sure, John Gibbons, I and uh, yeah. I mean, he's done, but. Yeah. I mean, everybody kind of figured he was going to be done. Oh, anyway. they'll bring him back in another three or four years. Yeah, once once Why they're ready not? to compete yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we can yeah. move on. All right. So, uh, football, I guess. We can start with some football. Sure. Um, it's been seven weeks in now. Yeah. Uh, any major, major surprises? I mean, New England's still uh, playing lights out. Uh, to me, I think the surprise would be the Eagles. Just uh, the defense really hasn't been... See, I don't really buy into that 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 narrative either. I mean, they lost a tough game yesterday. Would be enough seventeen yeah. nothing at home, and you give up twenty one in the fourth, fourth quarter. quarter yeah. Carolina is a quality enough team, but that shouldn't really happen on your home field. Um, it's not, you know, often that Super Bowl winners repeat and just go out and like go lights out you know yeah. the next season i mean usually they find their way back into the playoffs but i think it's the first time since the 2011 or 12 whenever the the ravens won the super bowl yeah. that the next year the team the super bowl champion the next year's th- been three and four well i mean mind you a couple of those games were without their short starting quarterback you know Carson months yeah was out and yeah i mean they lost this, this and I mean, they're still game. not out of the division by no means. Oh God, no, I mean, no, no! Division, I mean, that, that division's, division's terrible, awful, so. just absolutely terrible. Yeah. So uh, this this panic that's setting in, like, oh no, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's it's too, it's way too early. I, uh, you know, it's just way another too five early. six weeks if they're still. Well, kinda, we'll see. I mean, yeah. they they still have to play Dallas a couple more times and, and the I mean, Giants Dallas again. Hasn't and, too great. And, well, no, Dallas is terrible yeah. on the road and. Giants haven't looked good. I mean, yeah. uh, is Eli done? I mean, oh, I would imagine Eli's yeah. done. I mean, he. I mean that that whole team is. I still think he. Know, I still think they should have kept his start streak going last year. But I mean, after well, that, I mean, people but. will. You know, I guess shifting shifting gears to the Giants. So answer your question yeah. about the Eagles. No, I don't think they're really need to worry. And you know, check back when if they're five and five and seven i mean then you're kind of running out of time but there's plenty of time they go on a four game winning streak seven or four yeah. i mean that's probably where people would have expected them to be right so yeah. um as far as the giants i mean i just you know i just don't understand how you know someone like odell beckham i mean he's a great talent but i just wonder when the time will come with one of these great talents and their their shtick off the field is just too much. Yeah. You know, I mean, I just cannot understand. I mean, I I really actually liked how the owner came out the other day and just said, you know, he, he needs, needs to, to concentrate more yeah. on football and stop running his yap yeah. because he's doing these interviews. And I just don't understand again where it's become vogue where you know, like they were doing a big interview with him about if he likes water or not. Like, who gives yeah. a crap? Yeah. Like. And it's like the whole Kyrie Irving with the earth is flat. Uh, yeah. Like, why do the why do well, these media people pay any attention to, like... So here's another I one for you. I just don't get it. Jimmy Butler. What, what was your take well, on that? We, I mean, well, we'll get yeah. into him when I mean, we that get... Was we a, talk, that was yeah, quite I an interview. Yeah, I have some so. opinions with that, yeah, too, but too. we'll talk about <laughs> it. So, yeah, no, I mean, people will say the Giants screwed up and they should have taken one of the quarterbacks in the in the draft. Well, Saquon Barkley is, uh, could be a generational, yeah. you know talent if you have him on your team for 10 years you're probably gonna do do some things right because he's just a stud running back so i don't think they really messed up that way but trade you know why didn't they sign a case keenum and then draft somebody next year or you know trade for an aj mccarron or something like that you know teddy bridgewater you know these types of players maybe they should go after Derek carr i mean the Raiders just traded Amari Cooper there earlier today. Yeah, they're going to be in. I it. mean, and Marshawn Lynch is on the injured reserve, so they've 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 packed it in. They'll probably go two and fourteen. So maybe they should look to make a deal with for Derek Carr. I mean, he's he's a quality quarterback, and maybe he's the missing piece. Well, I mean, they they've got the talent there. It's just, uh, on it's offense, just... they do have a good talented offensive, you know, uh, side of the ball. But I don't know. You know yeah, that's. We'll I mean, see. yeah. Um, Kansas City, I mean, does that, does that have to be the biggest surprise uh, of the year? I, I mean, don't think it's a surprise per se is that they're that good, but I think it's just the amount of points that they're putting on the board. I mean, 
it's I mean, what Patrick Mahomes is doing is just well, it's record breaking, oh, really. It's phenomenal. And it's fun to watch too. I, it, well, it is, and it's good. It's good to see because Kansas City's a you know a, a franchise who's been there right on the cusp, had good teams yeah. and stuff, and just never were able ever, ever to break through. Um, you know, in quite a few years, obviously dating back years ago when Len Dawson and them were, yeah. you, know, you know, I mean Hank Stram and. Anyway, g- getting on to more uh, current uh, teams. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, no, they look really good. I mean, um, very fun to watch. I think they're going to be the new um, New England if they can keep this this group together. I mean, uh, the difference makers on o- the offensive side. I mean, and the, and the defense has started to kind of pick pick it up and play a little yeah. better too. And um, now, having said that, I know New England just hung forty three on them last weekend, but. I mean, at home, dominating performance against Cincinnati last yeah. night. Well, and I mean, they they played great right with New England that whole game mm. too. So it wasn't. I mean, and that's the thing with New England; they can't stop anybody. Yeah. I mean, Ch- Chicago's not a great offensive team, and they hung thirty-one on them yesterday, and were a play or two away from tying that game and going into overtime. So, um, but it'll be uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be a fun game to uh, you know AFC Championship. New oh, England yeah. and KC. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see it. I, I mean, I hope so. And I mean, do you, I mean, so you really don't see New England regressing at all again this year? I mean, aside from the defensive. Oh, end, I, I think mean, they're but. regressed. I mean, I, I, I mean, they, they just play in a crappy division. I mean, Buffalo's terrible. Yeah. Miami's no good. I mean, Brock Osweiler's their quarterback. I mean, and the Jets are going to be an eight and eight team, I would say. Um, so I mean, they're going to make the playoffs. They're going to get a top two seed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, Pittsburgh really hasn't played very well. Pittsburgh never beats New England in New England. Jacksonville's bad. Oh, you think Jacksonville's bad? I- <laughs> <laughs> Houston's not any good. Denver's no good. They yeah. can beat Baltimore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, yeah. So, yeah, to answer your question, yeah, it'll be them in Kansas City. I'm yeah. like, bar, barring injury. Yeah. 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 And then, I mean, um, Drew Brees is, uh, I mean, it's different division stuff, but mm. Drew Brees is. Yeah, uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, he's a consummate setting. pro. Mm-hmm. I'm tired not to, not to root for him. Um, it's interesting, you know, when you look back on his career, how he was drafted by San Diego, had some, some good years with them, was, you know, management picked Philip Rivers in the draft, yeah. decided to go with him, let Drew Brees go. He was supposed to go to Miami. They said no because his shoulder was all screwed up. He ends up going to New Orleans. New Orleans has Hurricane Katrina. They come back, win the Super Bowl. So, I mean, he's been real pivotal oh. in three franchises, you know, the and, 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 and yeah. not anybody, just anybody can say that, you know. And, um, you know, for what it's worth, I think that's pretty Oh, and I mean, pretty cool. He's uh, over 500 passing TDs now. Yeah, he just did that over yeah, last yesterday. weekend. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's Favre, Brady, and Manning, I think, is mm. leading it. And then yeah. uh, he's the all-time leader in passing That's yards. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, good on him. He's got a ring. So, I mean, yeah. guaranteed uh, Hall of Famer. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, he's in the conversation yeah. for one of the best best ever. Yeah. Now, I mean, well, he's a granted, I mean, you got to look at the eras of football. I mean, back years ago when yeah. – you know, in their early, early days when, like, Johnny Unitas and stuff, I mean, they, they with their passing skills, revolutionized the game because it was usually just ground and pound, right? Yeah. And then with the Dan Marinos and the Montanas and stuff like that, I mean, they were, you know, if you had a good year, you were getting, you know, 25 to 30 touchdown passes a year. Yeah. Now, you're, I mean, you got some guys that probably, well, I think Mahomes is at 22 now or something like that, right? I yeah. mean, we're not even halfway through the year. That's ridiculous, right? Oh, yeah, so, I mean, crushing. the game has changed. The rules have changed, and that's why you see such a spike in the stats. The numbers don't necessarily tell you that the best player is the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it, you have to give him definite credit for what he's been able to do in his career, yeah. and he deserves he deserves that credit. And then, uh, I mean, we can get into the Kaepernick stuff a little bit, um, just – it's, it seems to be in the news a lot, uh, over and over. Um, one of the things that kind of struck my eye and attention, I guess, is when uh, San Francisco did like a video tribute to all these other greats, and they, they left Kaepernick out of it. Mm. So to me, if it's not collusion, and it has more to do with his skills than the person he is, would you not include him in the video tribute? 
Like, so, like, all these well, things, I like, would. to me, like, all these things where he's getting left out of, like, NFL 19, they left out his name, or San Francisco 49ers for leaving him out of the video tribute. If it has to do with his skills, you wouldn't necessarily need to leave him out of the tribute. Mm-hmm. Or things like this. Mm-hmm. So to me, this well, just, he got him to the Super Bowl, right? Well, and I mean that's what I mean. So this just adds more to his side of the collusion case to me. If like if they're completely completely omitting me, then that's saying something like they're attacking me personally. If it's because of my skills, then why would why would they need to omit me, right? Mm. So um, it, it's interesting. It, it, it's a mess. It's a con- look. It's a it's a conversation that's never going to be, uh, you know. The conversation is never going to be had where both sides of the argument listen to the yeah, others. Yeah. You know, if if you're against them, it's because, well, frankly, you're misinterpreting what the whole thing, thing was about, about to yeah. begin with. Well, and, and you're and you're and they're never going yeah. to listen because they don't want to listen because it makes it easier for them to just yeah. Well, you know. To be ignorant about politics. it. Politics. So it, uh, it's politics. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, Derek Anderson started for the Bills yesterday. Yeah. Okay. He's had four starts in the last seven years. You cannot tell me that if you just threw cap. Now, granted, I mean, it, so much time has elapsed now where it is he, fair he to say that he might good. not be any yeah. good anymore. That's, that's fair to say. But you can't tell me that he would be worse than putting five points on the bar- board. Yeah. You know, yesterday against Indy. Like, I'm pretty sure he would have been able to do that plus. But it's never going to happen. Um, you know. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate to me because, well, I, I mean, well, not just me, it, but just well, for him in general. Just, it's, it's, he was a good player. And I, and I think everything like you said, was misinterpreted. And, I mean, I've done a lot of research, too, and the kneeling isn't supposed to be a sign of disrespect. When somebody's down or hurt, you kneel. Like, it's... Well, I really haven't even heard about it this year. And and, and, yeah. and the whole idea behind that was if you don't want it to stay out there, don't don't Focus look for that, it, yeah. you know? Just don't look, you know, don't, don't record it as part of your... Broadcast. Uh, broadcast, yeah. you know, just... Talk about go to commercial, do whatever. Just don't, don't, don't bring it out. Don't shed the light on it. If yeah, you don't exactly. Want it to be, right. So, yeah. um, and I don't think they have. But I, I wouldn't feel bad. I mean, I think this is what he, uh, he knew, he had to have known this was going to happen. Yeah. I hope he wins his collusion you know, case, though. Because wow, well, I, mean, I don't think he's. I don't, I don't think, think he he's will, going to. I, I, but I would like. I don't to think he's. He's just, not hurting. Time will, you know. Time will tell his legacy. When, and, yeah. when, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna fudge the details. But when, um, those runners and I can't think of their names right now in the Olympics, you know, saluted with the with the gloves on, yeah. and they wore at that time very much disrespected, and you know, yeah. at the time, thirty years later, they're revered now, yeah. and maybe that's gonna be the way. Kaepernick is viewed in the future as well, and I hope so. And I, um, so we get, we do get to move on a little bit uh, mm. into some other sports. Um, so basketball, I mean, it's just started. So I mean, that's uh, we always have lots to talk about in basketball because these guys are a little bit of uh, divas. I find some of them. <laughs> um, we'll get into the biggest diva here of them all. I think uh, Jimmy Butler. Um, <laughs> well, I don't know if he's the biggest. He well, might be he's the most, right up there. He's right? the current one, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, for all of you that uh, haven't really been paying attention, he uh, requested a trade pretty well, I think two weeks before uh, season opened, demanded not to play, or said he wasn't going to show up to training camp, blah, blah, blah. He said he'd play, shows up to practice, uh, absolutely schools. Uh, and, I mean, this part I do like, that he went into practice and schooled the guys, and I, that's what he's saying, really, is that he wants Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, to, or Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins to grow a pair and step up and say something. But That's neither what, of them did. Well, the, no. Well, okay. All right. Yeah. Continue. Uh, and, but the the prima donna part I thought was when he took the interview with Rachel Nichols, Nichols yep. right afterwards, and he's pretty well like. Oh, it was definitely planned. Yeah. 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 But I the the biggest fault I have on him is honestly, if you wanted to be traded, ask for it more than two weeks before the regular season. Don't hold out uh, out of training camp because I mean you're under contract. These players holding out a contract, I. 
I understand, but at the same time, you sign the contract, you just don't honor it, in my opinion. Um, and then just, I mean, keep it behind closed doors a little bit more, I guess. Like, it's to me, it's just no respect. I mean, I, I don't think the guy respects anybody he's played for. It's uh, all about me, and I don't think he's as good as he thinks he is. Well, okay, so, yeah, so so my comments on that would be, yes, if he if he's in this interview preaching honesty, he needs to be honest with himself. He's a good player, but he's not he's not that good. He's not to LeBron calling, James. Well, or... to be calling his own shots, like Steph Curry, Durant, LeBron James. Like, he's not. No. He's, he's not. He's a top 12 to 14 player in the league. Yeah. No, I... And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't tell me that you're being honest with yourself when you're saying that you know, screaming at the owner and stuff, you need me. They don't need you, pal. They've sucked for the last 25 years. They can suck for the next 25 without you. Yeah. They've already made their bed. They've paid Anthony Towns and they paid Wiggins. Yeah. They're not going to pay him. They don't have enough to pay three max player. So suck it up, play this year out, and then go join another super squad team. Because that's what, that's what all these these guys are doing now if you don't play with three other superstars yeah. mm, well, so that, i need to be on a team it's gonna be easy to win because that's just the way it is it doesn't matter the warriors are gonna win again anyway yeah you know i mean yeah. it just doesn't matter right. unless three of their guys get hurt I'll, we'll, we'll see the raptors might be able to put a little scare in well them. they're gonna they're fair enough but minnesota isn't challenging them no. You know, there's no team that's going to challenge them unless something happens between now and the yeah. playoffs. Injuries or teams get loaded up one way or the other, right? I mean, Houston's good. They're not going to challenge them. You know, the Pelicans are good. So Utah's good. Denver's good. Good teams, good quality basketball teams, but they're not going to come close to the Warriors. So, him and, and to act, yeah, it's the way you did, you know, it's not mature. It's not professional. You know, it's, say, it's entitled. Saying, it's, well, no, it's just it's just immature and unprofessional. Yeah. You you keep that stuff behind closed doors. Now, see, people would that disagree right now would say, oh, you're just being you know a stick in the mud. These aren't how these guys are, and blah blah blah. Well, fair enough. Okay, fine. If, Th if that's you're a right. team player I, to I, me, I'll you agree. need to give them more than two weeks' notice that you want to be traded. Like, I mean, if you're an honest it, it, it team player, it just comes. Like, in, no, it, it doesn't matter. It comes down to money. He wants yeah. his contract extension. Oh, I mean, I, I, I get that, but I, I to me, it I hurt, don't. It, it, it hurt. I mean, if I do and I don't, he's going to get it, a contract want, next year. Uh, yeah, I agree with that, 100. Mm. percent But I think if you're going to be a team player. Then you need to, like, if you wanted to out, then you say it at the end of the season. He's not you, a like, team player, though. No, that's exactly that's why, it. And I mean, I think Chicago that hurts your reputation him, and that's, a little you know, more than I mean, anything. Yeah, well, he doesn't care about no. that. I mean, well, he's, a, he's a tough guy from the streets, right? You know, he doesn't care about people like you and me think about him. No, well, I, I'm sure he, 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 I'm might, sure not, he, he might and, not end up and, making the Hall of Fame because of it. And, I mean, you could go down as... I well, mean, he's he won't not good down. enough to make the Hall of Fame anyway. No, but I mean, if he was to get on a good team and win two or three championships, we might talk a little differently no, about it. But no, he's not a trans, trans. He's not that type of player. He's not. I, he's uh, not. He's not. Don't it, you're giving <laughs> him way too much credit. But if he's on a good team, I'm telling you, Minnesota was phenomenal with them last year. And if, he, say, Minnesota was team. able to knock off Golden State this year, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen. But say it did, and he averaged 20, 10, and 6, or 28, and 6. and I'm sure he will. Do you know how many guys have averaged 20 and 10 in their career and don't yeah. sniff the Hall of Fame? He, yeah. he was nothing. In, I mean, he was a good player in college. He's worked his butt off to be a good NBA player. Why are we even talking about Jimmy Butler as much as we have? <laughs> no, no, I, I agree with that. We'll, we'll move on to the Raptors and another uh, kind of diva move with uh, Kawhi Leonard, the way he kind of pulled the Spurs this year. Um, we talked about that a fair amount throughout the season. But, uh, I mean, the Raptors ended up being the beneficiaries. Um, the one, well, that the, would depend on. Yeah, well, the way yeah. you look at it. Uh, the, the one takeaway uh, take I'm going to have from it is, I mean, it was uh, – Kawhi Leonard, Danny Green for uh, DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Pertl, and a protected first-round pick. Mm -hmm. um, Pertl looks good. DeRozan, I mean, DeRozan's good. But, I mean, I, I, I wanted to say he's peaked. But, I mean, every year the guy came back and improved on something. So, I don't think he's peaked either. But I still don't think he'll ever be at Kawhi's level. 
just with the Who, Demar? Yeah. No, go no. Ahead, no. Well, that's what I mean, but I don't think Demar has peaked either because uh, every year he's he come peaked. back. No, he's, he, he, he's peaked defensively. I don't think he's peaked offensively. I think he's going to get that three point shot in. Um, I, I, and I'm honestly. If you can shoot, you can shoot. If you can't, you can't. Well, if you work through 2,500 shots a summer or something, I mean, you can get it eventually. I, I, but he's peaked yeah. offensively. Yeah, I'm not saying that's a bad yeah, no, thing, but, but I, he's not going to go out and start. I mean, I know started of last year there, he averaged, what, 35 a game yeah. for the first two weeks, and he came right back down to his career. The, the Rosen's a good player, and I mean, he's going to be a good, yeah, he's going to be a good player. The or old, San Antonio, yeah. but he's not sniffing anything from what Kawhi the, Leonard. Can the do. only dirty thing that I found about it is that they didn't let Demar uh, know ahead of time, kind of that he was being traded or that they Why planned on. Why should they? Because they own him. The, yeah, but the guy <laughs> put in so many like. It doesn't if mean If you want the respect that, going the other way. No, no, no. It, it's it, nine years that uh, you got to get like a franchise guy. You say, hey man, I'm sorry, but I got to trade you. It, like, I mean, well, you if, know you, if you don't but, want it to sting, but, like, like but, Vince Carter stung, like, I mean, you got to give, like, you give the guy Yeah, but it's, it goes like, both ways, and maybe they did. And he just acted like a very big baby out in yeah. public and because he didn't want to get traded. And, I mean, the guys had it. I, I, I'm not invoking, I don't want to invoke the, the mental health issues into it because yeah. I don't know how that would have played into it, and I don't, I'm not going to. I'm not going to not validate that in any way, but I'm just saying, like, he didn't want to get traded. He, God knows what kind of spin he put on it. Yeah. But to me, I think you just got to give the guy a little bit of notice. That's the only, I, 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 in a perfect I'm, world, I'm, I'm I would hundred, I, I'm 100% okay with the trade now. At first, honestly, it did sting a little bit because, I mean, just being a Raptors fan and, like, they never want to stay. Like, you get a good guy. I mean, yeah, Chris Bosh bailed. Yeah. I mean, Vince Carter bailed, and then, I mean, you get DeRozan, and, I mean, he's not a top 10, maybe 15, 20 guy. Oh, yeah, no, very good. And, yeah. I mean, he wanted to stay, and, I mean, so that's that's where it stung as a Raptors fan because he wanted to stay. He wanted to be a Raptor for life, and, I mean, then to not even give the guy a little heads up, like, hey, we got to ship you out. That's where it did me dirty. But, like I said, I don't – I 100% agree with the trade. But it's going gonna, gonna to sting even more if Kawhi walks out after this year. I would also have to just kind of push back on that a little bit in that he's naive to think that he he's, could have stayed a Raptor his whole career. Well, yeah. nobody stays with their original team. No, like, no not as anymore. as much yeah. as I just praise Mookie. Like I know he's going somewhere someday. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, they all do. They all do. They yeah. all chase the dollar and they Dirk, all want Dirk some Nowitzki. some change. Yeah. No, no, I agree. There's. I, I I find in hockey it's not as bad as in basketball. I mean, you well, do Tavares get some just went to the Leafs, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it happens. It happens. That's that's the nature that's, of the beast. Yeah, that's the one thing. It's that's the landscape of sports nowadays. They just you know they would they there's no but Tavares no, took less money to go to the Leafs. We're not kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, there's no loyalty. It's a business. Yeah. They are the first ones to say it's a business. It's a business. It's a business. And it's a business the other way when your ass gets traded. Out of town. Yeah. No, I I, you know I agree. I mean? But um, and he's done nothing for them. Well, nothing for them in the playoffs. No, not so, in the playoffs. But I mean, and he had his chances. What he was just sitting on the bench, game well, two last year. Well, and he passed away a couple of shots that he should have taken. I, I don't remember who he gave them to, but it really should have been him. I think it was Siakam or Purple that he passed it to, and it's you got to take those shots. But no, I. It, it, so it, it, I mean, you're you're, you're me. kind of making my point. A no, little I bit am. There. I, I am. <laughs> like I, I like as much. I just the fact that he wanted to stay is kind of what. Yes, yeah, so I just because that's, yeah. It, they don't. They don't usually want to stay. They usually want to chase the dollars. And well, I, I mean that he. I wouldn't he want to stay in Toronto either. No, I, I wouldn't either. <laughs> I, mean, I, I would want to go back to LA. But so the fact I that mean, he did is yeah. No, so I mean, cool. but I I think why like obviously I. They've got much better odds this year. Not even just Kawhi. Danny Green is a champion. Oh, he's a quality. I mean, that guy yeah. is phenomenal. They have a better team. 100%. They made it. Yeah. They, it, it, they, they put a lot of stock in this one year with the hopes that Leonard's healthy. Leonard's playing to the top five player in the league is, yeah. that he is. And with the hope that they can sell Toronto and maybe and, win a championship. Or well, make the finals, close. win a championship, and sign him to a three year deal or something. Yeah. No, I mean. But. If, 
it it's, it's going to sting even more if Kawhi walks out because then I mean it's yeah. going to be a bit more of a rebuild because you need Lowry's going to be 35, 36 then. I mean he's got to regress at some point. He's looked good so far to start the mm. season, but well, well no, see. they they yeah I mean with we'll him see. and Ibaka. Um, Abak is awful, dead weight. But I mean, he looked good game too. So I mean, if he plays, <laughs> you know, and, and Danny Green's older too. I mean, yeah. so uh, basketball terms wise. So I mean, yeah. I mean, they they have you know, they got this year. Maybe ne- you know a couple they, after, yeah. and then you know. I mean, if they can keep quiet, then the doors open a little bit longer. But we'll, we will but see. Um, good drafts and and making yeah. a couple you know decent. So then uh, another guy thing. that uh, started jumping, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, signing with mm. the Warriors for the veterans minimum of one, uh, $4.3 million, I think it mm. is. Um, what's your take on this? Are you okay with it? or do you- Oh, I mean, no, good move on his part. He's going to be out till January. Um, he'll come back, play with, you know, four all-star slash future Hall of Famers probably, yeah. um, get his stock up, show that he's healthy, play on a winning – team show he can be part of a winning culture attitude cash in with a big big contract next year uh, and another one uh i don't know why we're going to talk about this one but i'll bring it up anyway uh carmelo carmelo anthony going to the rockets does this uh, move their needle at all i mean he's no. coming off the bench does no. this make them worse I mean, oh yeah they're worse for sure because i mean I they, they lost a few key guys um yeah in Ari- agency, ariza, uh, ariza and, and luke mabubute yeah so um defensive do you, presence they don't have anymore as far as you know i mean Carmel well what a reason brought to when it comes and, yeah. to oh he's just, defense and uh hard never you know plays defense maybe 30 percent of the time chris ball's fine but and clint capella i mean i mean they were the one seed last team, year yeah. oh yeah they'll, they'll be in the mix yeah. but I, I, I mean, think New Orleans this year is going to uh, be more of a threat than uh, Houston. I do, now. too. Just, yeah. I mean, if I think, Anthony Davis keeps, you oh, know, takes phenomenal. that next step. Which and, and, and if Drew yeah. Holiday is healthy, too, because, yeah. I mean, I think yep. he's severely underrated. Yep. Um, I think OKC could be a lot better this year than what they were last year. I mean, yeah. they don't have Carmelo. It's just going to be Russ and Paul George. Mm-hmm. I mean, Paul George is a beast defensively. If they can kind of figure out how to play a bit more together, then, yeah. I mean – well, I think I mean I I I like watching Westbrook play, but I don't know if he'll ever be able to take I mean, a, team to over carry top. a team over top. But I mean, if you I that, I I like Paul George resigning with them, and I mean, there's, oh yeah. I, yeah, I think it's good on him, and because I even read another article that said uh, if they wouldn't have traded for me, I'd be in L.A. right now. But uh, they oh, traded with me, he, and I think he still wants to to go to L.A. And I think that, yeah, you think so. I, oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. They, yeah, like all that, all that conspiracy. Like if 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 it's out there, like no. Well, what he there's said is always a kernel of truth to it. Like yeah. he said, I would have been in L.A. if they wouldn't have traded for me, but they traded for me. I liked it here. Sam Presti sold me on it, and I enjoyed playing with Russ. So he'd be in L.A. if Commissioner Silver didn't call and say, "Don't, you're not going to L.A." Yeah, and you think from the uh, Magic Johnson? And, that's right. Yeah. Because they were pretty close, and I don't even know. Maybe they did get fined for tampering. Oh, yeah, they did. And it would have gone a lot worse yeah. if he had gone to L.A. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I, I, I could see it. Well, I, yeah. I, 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 these sorts of things, man, mm-hmm. these uh, backroom uh, conversations definitely happen. And then um, the Celtics, I mean, I'm trying to just push through because I do want to get a little bit on hockey. Um, Celtics, I mean, Gordon Hayward, Kyrie Irving's back this yeah, year. Yeah, they'll be good, yep. Um, I mean, do you yeah. think there's too many A-list guys now for the um, ball? Uh, yeah. Because, I mean, I, Jason Tatum's I, I, I don't think it'll phenomenal. Be, uh, Al Horford's pretty good. I don't like, think it'll be too many. I just, you know, Coach Stevens is going to have, a, you know, a time to, to, to keep everybody happy. Yeah. Um, you know, with, with – with Irving and, and Haywood, you know, Hay- Hayward being injured last year, um, you know, you had guys like Tatum and Brown and Rogier, uh, you know, someone's not going to be getting the minutes that they were used to, uh, that they yeah. got last year. Right. And somebody's going to be unhappy. So you just got to massage that in a way where people aren't, you know, going to do, do you see Kyrie, attractive. uh, Piecing out on the Celtics next summer and going with the Knicks. I mean, he, he well, said he plans on well, resigning. Well, yeah, he, uh, he, 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 uh, you know, the the cute, the cute little uh, opening opening shot, if you will, that I'm finding that a lot of these athletes that are coming up on their free agency. Oh, I'll, I'd love to be back, if, you know, if they'll have me. 
Well, yeah, of course we'd have you, man. But how much money are you going to want to, yeah. you know, want to take us for? You know what I mean? Is it Bryce Harper said the same. Oh, I'd love to come back to Washington. Okay, well we'll sign you. Okay, well you come back for twenty million a year for four years. Oh, geez, oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. it always just comes down to money. Yeah. So if the Knicks give him a lot more money, and him and Jimmy Butler go to the Knicks next year, and him and uh, Perz those two in Przingis. There's a 50 win team right there, probably, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And I mean, back well, I mean, it would all depend how Chris Stapps came back, too, because, I mean, he's out most of this year. I think. He is out but most of this year, but maybe he'll sit out the whole year mm -hmm. and be good to go. Yeah. Um, I do want to jump into hockey now just because we didn't really get into too much hockey. And then, I mean, we got hockey all next two weeks to talk well, hockey and basketball. So, go for it. Um, but the big move, I mean, as you can all tell, I'm pretty excited. Uh, the Leafs getting uh, John Tavares. I can see that. You're wearing yeah. a T-shirt. We were supposed to wear shirts like yeah. this. I had it on, and then I thought it was a little too much. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. 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 Sold me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, next week. Next week. Yeah. I just had to get it in. Uh, it's finally finally time where I can be proud to be a Leafs fan. I mean, uh, Fair enough. they're uh, one, two, three centers. Uh, pretty well unmatched throughout the league. I mean, Pittsburgh's close there. I mean, with Malk and Crosby, but they don't have the third guy like Cadbury. Matthew's going to get 150 points this oh year. Oh, man, he's playing lights out so far. I mean, they're, they're on a <laughs> bit of a sl snide right now. I think they lost two in a row to Pittsburgh and St. Louis. Um, be nice to see them get Nylander signed. Um, but, I mean, Kapanen's filled in nicely. You could almost sign Nylander and ship him out for a uh, nice young defense. And mm -hmm. that's already under contract, preferably at a good number. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you have lots of room to... Resign Marner and Matthews because I mean those are going to be the big guys. Yep. Um, Tavares did take a little bit less to come to the Leafs, seven years, uh, seventy-seven mil I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, but he could have easily got twelve, twelve and a half somewhere else. Um, Kadri, Morgan Riley are already lights out. Morgan Riley are already locked up, but Morgan Riley's been playing lights out so mm -hmm. far. It's I think fourteen points or something, mm -hmm. um, first seven games. So I, I can't see that pace keeping up, but I mean I hope it does because I got mm -hmm. him in my pool. Mm -hmm. um, Boston started out fairly well as well. I mean, that Marshawn Burrs were on Pasternak line is pretty well mm -hmm. unmatched. I, I think they've got the best line in hockey. Uh, the Devils Hurricanes, I think they're surprising a lot of people. Um, Canadians. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Canadians and Senators. I mean, I think mm -hmm. I had both of them at the bottom of my league, and uh, they both played really well. They both played Toronto really well on yeah. um, both games. I think Ottawa yeah. beat them the first game, and then Montreal took them to overtime. Um Carey Price, I mean, I'd like to see him rebound and have another good year because, I mean, last year he was downright awful. And, I mean, he's a Canadian goalie. He'd be the best Canadian goalie we'd have in the league right now. So, I mean, it would be nice to see him do well. Mm -hmm. um, but if I was Montreal, honestly, I'd ship Carey Price out right now and try and go for the bottom of the league and get a, a nice draft pick because, I mean, you already shipped out Pacioretty, Galchenyuk. Um, Weber's out for half the season. So, um, I'd go for that bottom out who would be a team that'd be interested in him? yeah it wouldn't be toronto <laughs> uh should it be no no i like freddie anderson he he's at, know, after I... october freddie anderson's good um the devils after could, october after Wait. october he's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> i mean the, the last two years so uh, november right through to july he's I, pretty good I, stats I, yeah again, you, but yeah I just, october i just bad. don't know I just, there's um, something about him that he doesn't look pretty doing it. He looks scrambly, I think, is what it is. But he does get the job done most of the time. Most of the time. Um, hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Hurricanes, though, really are the biggest surprise. I don't think anybody yeah. really expected them to be doing as good as they were doing. Um, I'm trying to think of a team that could use them that could go for Gary Price. But I can't really. Dallas Stars, oh, maybe. Oilers? Yeah, the Oilers. But uh, I'm, I don't know if I'd be ready to give up on Talbot yet. I'd say maybe uh, the Stars or even the Flames. I'd be more apt to give up on Mike Smith than I would uh, yeah. Cam Talbot. But, um, I mean, Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, <laughs> or Arizona Coyotes, you wanna, sorry. You don't want to yeah, um, kill the guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Edmonton started out fairly well. I mean, better than kind of what I expected them to. They didn't really make too many moves. I mean, they do have Connor McDavid, but uh, not much depth there. I mean, they did get Darnell Nurse re-signed. I think Lucic is kind of a dead weight for them, but uh, well, yeah, I mean he uh, five years, four years left, or something, seven million a year. Yeah. Or, so <laughs> um, I don't really see them being too great this year. I think they should make the playoffs. I think Calgary should make the playoffs. Um, Vancouver's another one that started out really well. Um, Pedersen, Peterson, however you say the Peterson, yeah. El Elias or Elias or 
not good with these Swedish names, but I mean, he's looked really well for, um, I mean, they've got a good young core there too. So, I mean, another year or two, they might be able to use a uh, carry price. Yeah. Because they do have a really good young core in Vancouver. So they're, they're another interesting team to watch. Winnipeg should be good. I mean, so honestly, aside from Montreal and Ottawa, I thought the Canadian sports teams were, or hockey teams were looking pretty good, but even Montreal and Ottawa are looking fairly good right now. Um, it would be nice to see Ottawa do well, just especially with everything, all the off-ice drama and turmoil mm. that they had this offseason. I mean, they shipped out their best player, Eric Carlson. I think they got six or seven pieces um, for him, but mm -hmm. nothing really of significance unless one of the prospects really kind of blossoms. Um, so is he signed to a long-term deal with San Jose? If he does, he can't until after February, but... Oh, okay. uh, uh, I think it's he could sign seven years now after the trade deadline he could sign eight. So if he waits till after the trade deadline he could sign eight. But uh, I don't know. I I could see him holding out if uh, and see what, how free agency goes. I mean, mm. you never know. He's he's a Swedish guy, so he might not like the beach and the sun and the. I mean, you never know. Maybe he likes yeah. the cold. <laughs> no, uh, that, maybe. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, San Jose, th their windows. I. They should be good for another three, four, five years anyway. But, I mean, they, I, I do see a drop-off within the next two or three years. I mean, their core is fairly old. So, I mean, I think that would be the only thing that may deter them. <coughs> um, Dallas, I, I, I'm really surprised on Dallas. I mean, they're, they're not really taking off. And I well, really it's early, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, uh, I mean, some teams, uh, you know, Toronto had played like five games and Tampa Bay had mm -hmm. only played one. Yeah. Yeah, a very odd was, way to. Well, and even Edmonton, I think, only played one game in the first nine days of the regular yeah. season, or yeah. two games. They started out in Sweden, and yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it was, it was didn't really seem to be any. No, it was reason for that. I mean, that I could tell, but. No, and then they wanted to. St Edmonton wanted to do their uh, road trip, like their Eastern road trip, coming back from Sweden too. So they yeah, ended okay. up staying in Boston for like a week after they come back from Sweden. I know they were scabs. They yeah so walked they, the picket line. It was Ooh. weird, but um, <laughs> the, the the Leafs have started out really well. I mean, uh, like I said, Montreal, Ottawa. I mean, the Canadian teams really are looking fairly good so far. Um, honestly, it'd be nice to see Ottawa do good. Just because, too, they don't own their draft pick this year from uh, the Matt Duchesne trade. So if they lose, it's going to Colorado. Um, Colorado's looking good. Nathan McKinnon started out really well again. Um, Taylor Hall with the Devils. Uh, like I said, to me, the biggest surprise is the Hurricanes. Just that they're unbeaten, I think. And, uh, I mean, they don't really have a big, big name. So No, I couldn't tell you anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a few young guys that are up and coming. Justin but, Williams, I think. Yeah. Is he the one that's leading the... The new yeah, celebrates the celebration at the no no it doesn't mean they don't they all the yeah don't yeah. they all line up and, but I mean he's Mr. Game Seven know. but uh, Sebastian well, Aho and uh, yeah. They, yeah they they do a few good guys but there a lot of them are younger um, Buffalo should be interesting to watch this year too I mean they did pick up a couple of guys um, Jeff Skinner uh, and then Ross Miss Darlene like the number yeah. one overall pick yeah. Eichel's been playing and, well so far and, yeah. and Carter Hutton there the um, their goalie yeah, back. Yeah, so. so, I mean, it, it should be an interesting season. Um, like I said, the biggest news for me was Tavares going to the Leafs. Uh, what I, a difference trying to talk about hockey when you bared the other three sports. Yeah, I know. I, there ain't there's I know. nothing. <laughs> there, there, there really isn't as much. There's, there's, they don't, they don't give us the drama like, oh, the, no. like no. basketball. No. They just, there's so much drama, and I mean, we didn't even really get into Carl Anthony Towns' drama, and just, I mean. Or Andrew the fight Wiggins over the weekend. Or we, Brandon didn't even, Ingram. we didn't even mention but, LeBron. No, I, well, we kind of should, I guess, uh, since we do have no, a little bit of time No, we don't need to. We've well, gone 57 minutes already and not. Yeah, well, well, I mean, for those of you living under a rock, he did go to the Lakers, and he had some uh, interesting off-season signings to go with him, uh, Lance Stevenson being one, Rajon Rondo. Um, but most of these deals were done under a one-year contract, so uh, L.A. should have lots of room to go and add two superstars to play with LeBron next year and – that's that. I mean, and then the big old spat last night with uh, Chris Paul. And uh, so I actually there is one question I did want to ask you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, LeBron James taking Chris Paul out of uh, the group. Is that is it? Uh, is that typical. A, a, a no, no, typical. though, is it a no, no? Because, I mean, it is the guy off the other team, even if he is your best, like one of your best friends. Should you like pull your teammate apart or should you just stay the heck out of it? And 
let them do their own thing or no you know i mean i think that's being a little bit overblown i mean if i was playing in a pickup league and my buddy um got into a scrap with somebody i'm not that's on my team that i'm not really close with close with i mean i would be more concerned about getting him out of the way i mean i think that's just natural instinct i yeah. think anybody out there would do the same thing if if given the same type of scenario i think you'd be fooling yourself yeah no i, I mean there's you can die for your teammates and all this other crap you know what i mean like there's some you care about and some you don't like yeah. that's just the way it goes right no no I, I <laughs> so same, same as co-workers <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely so i mean i mean obviously the optics of it doesn't look great but look at lebron i mean he doesn't you really can care, yeah well i mean you can pick apart just about any decision he makes, you know what I mean? Not like one, I, I, two, I saw him. Wa three, I, I watched four. the 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 game highlight or the the uh, condensed game of that game, and I saw him walking into the arena with a Dodgers hat on. I was like, "You, the, of course you're yeah, wearing the right, Dodgers yeah. hat. Be the Yankees and then the Indians. When you're, you know, it's just yeah, it, it doesn't. You know, it's just a show. Yeah, it's just a show. Um, so <laughs> with the suspensions though, um. Chris Paul got two for wagging his finger, yeah. and uh, yeah. Rondo got three for uh, allegedly spitting, and Brandon Ingram got four for uh, mm. the run back punch. Um, are all these numbers right, justifiable? Oh, I don't should, know. Should I Ingram mean, have got more? I mean, to well, me, yeah, Ingram it, came out today it, and it, said that he he thought he should have and was going to get more. He should get um, it 10, I don't, 15. I mean, good on him to own that, though. I didn't hear that. But, I mean, if he thought. <laughs> did did you, you think he should have gotten 10 to 15? Yeah, I mean. No. Even if he didn't connect. They want this stuff. Yeah, it was just like the McGregor fight and them all. Oh, I can't believe it. Braun. They, they love it. They yeah. want it. That's what they want. I know. But, I mean, it, as far as. Give the people what they want. They know, want that but... stuff. And we sat right here last year and talked about how many tough guys there were in the NBA all of a sudden that were getting into these pushing and yeah. shoving fights and no, all this other. We talked about it for a, yeah. a month because every, every other night there was something going on, right? Yeah. And, yeah, I can't – I don't blame someone, like, for getting irritated and annoyed of James Harden. I can't – No, I, no. I, 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 does, I don't blame him a bit. And for him to go back and, and push Harden like that and then for Harden to have the look, like, of utter uh, disbelief just me, yeah. that how dare you. Like, well, I didn't do – you did. You do it every, five times a game. Yeah. Throw your head back like you just got – you know, killed on a, on a drive, and it's just, it's annoying. Yeah. And I'm glad he did, I mean, he didn't really do anything about it, because, no. I mean, he's he, just going to do it tonight. Yeah. But, you know I, 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 mean? I still think just with the optics of it, he should have probably got more than four games. Just that it's going to be played all over highlights, and, I mean, it's, well, uh, it's, not, it's not teaching kids good sportsmanship. Oh, please, give me, don't yeah. get all <laughs> my bleeding hearts with sportsmanship. Yeah, um, yeah well, Chris Paul never gets any... No, no, I for thought he should punch, got more punching too, guys in, in, in the crotch. Yeah, no, I thought he should have got more too. But I'm being told to wrap it up. So um, it was a pleasure. We will be back in two weeks, guys. Um, may have TC joining us then again as well. So uh, maybe get a little Toronto inside feel. But it was a pleasure. And uh, we'll get back into more basketball drama. Have a good night.